And she also asked if we are planning on any more kids. Hey Mountain family, how's it going? So today Andy is one month old, so it is time for your one month update, yay! I apologize for my glasses. I know that it's glaring really bad, but I have a major headache today and this makes it go away. So I'm really sorry. I cannot believe that she's already a month old. I swear, the more kids that you have, the faster it goes. I feel like at the rate that she's going, next month she'll be going away to college. So y'all come back for that update, it's coming. So as far as feeding goes, Andy is still being breastfed and supplemented. Carly decided to break my SNS yesterday. So we've reverted back to bottles which is okay and she takes one ounce before every other feed it really just depends I have to kind of play it by ear if it's been a while since she's eaten like you know a couple hours three hours then I give her an ounce and then we nurse but if she just had an ounce and nursed and then just went down for like 10 minutes and then once nursed again I don't give her any more because it'll just make her too full and she'll throw up I learned the hard way. But she's being fed the soy formula because whenever she has the regular Similac Advance, just the regular milk, she just throws everything up. It's like projectile. It's everything. So we switched to soy and it's been much, much better. She handles it so much better. She's not having as many poopy diapers. She's still having them. They're just not as frequent as they were before. Before it was like, I'm serious, every single diaper change I had it on my app was a poopy diaper. But now we're starting to get some pee diapers in there so it's not as much poop but it's still very frequent diapers. She's still getting about six to eight dirty diapers a day, so that's really good. When she's not nursing and filling up her diapers, she wants me to hold her all the time. So I really feel like I've been slacking in my channel this week, but it's not been intentional at all. I've just been really busy, and I'm just now starting to get kind of a grasp on how to juggle everything. It's a work in progress, but we're getting there. Right now, Andy's favorite thing, besides being held by me and nursing, she really loves her swing. That is the only thing that I have put her in that she actually likes and she will actually stay in for any length of time so I can get something else done. Her eyes are starting to lighten up a little bit. Not a lot, but a little bit. They were like a really dark blue, but now they're a little bit lighter of a blue. I still think they're going to be blue because mine are blue and so are Devin's. So most likely <laughs> our kids are going to have blue eyes too. Her hair also looks like it's grown a little bit. I don't know if that's just me and Devin because he made the same comment, but but I swear her hair has grown just a little because it's so much poofier now than it was last month. I am absolutely clueless on what color this child's hair is going to be because it just looks like everything. Like if you just turn her head like this, it's like it's everything. It's a little bit of red, a little bit of blonde, a little bit of brown. It's just it's everything. She hasn't given us a first like real smile yet. It's still the smiles that you see babies give in their sleep. Actually when she's awake she does a lot of mean mugging and Devin was commenting on it today that she's such a serious child. She's not really a big smiler or anything like that. She just kind of like looks at you like why did you wake me up? We think it's the cutest thing but she'll smile eventually. She'll get there. She had her first bath this month, which I didn't film because it was on a day that I just wasn't able to. She had thrown up and had gotten everywhere and we had to bathe her. So uh, she did really well. She didn't scream or cry or anything unless you were bathing her hair. Then she freaked out. But besides that, she did really good. I was really surprised. As far as her weight, I'm not sure if she's back up to birth weight yet because we haven't had a doctor appointment. As far as how I'm doing at one month postpartum, I'm doing much better than I was a couple of weeks ago. My uterine prolapse is starting to get better. It's starting to heal itself because I've been doing Kegels. And I really think that it's helped. I got glasses this month for the first time in my life ever. So I don't have a constant headache anymore, thank God. And really, all in all, I'm just feeling really good. I'm feeling back to myself and normal. And I don't have much to update on because I feel pretty much back to myself. The last thing I could think of to update on is my weight. I'm still 175 or hanging around 175, give or take a pound. I'm really starting to miss working out. So I think here in the next week, maybe two, I'm going to start picking up a exercise regime somewhere that I find online because I really do miss doing that. 
I'm going to show you guys my postpartum belly, but before I do, I'm going to answer this fan question. And if you guys have any questions, by all means, leave them in the comments below, and I will get to them as soon as I can. But Courtney Wilbanks asks, I was just wondering the reason why you decided to go with an A name when you already had two girls with K names. Well, technically, Kinley isn't actually her name name. It's actually Mick Kinley. We call her Kinley. Or if you watch my Day in the Life vlogs, you'll hear me call her Kens. Those are just the little nicknames that we've given her. And actually, fun fact, Kinley is the only kid that we have that actually does have a nickname and can have a nickname because you can't really shorten Carly and you can't really shorten Andy. So Kinley is the only one that has a nickname, at least for now. I mean, uh, nicknames come from different places, so maybe when they grow up, they'll have nicknames. When we chose the girls' names, we wanted to stick with the theme of IE, just different variations of the ending sound E, Carly, McKinley, Andy. So Carly is IE, McKinley is EY, and Andy is is just I. So that's how we kind of figured out their names. I'm pretty sure I already answered this, but it won't hurt to answer it again. And she also asked if we are planning on any more kids. Oh, I really don't know how to answer this. <laughs> part of me wants to wait a few years and have one more and then get my tubes tied and be done. And another part of me is okay with her being our last. I really just don't know right now what I want or what our plans are. I have no clue. Right now, I'm just very happy and comfortable with the three girls that we have and I'm okay with that. I guess I'll just cross that bridge when or if or ever we get to it. But for right now, no. No more kids. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys my one month postpartum belly. I'm going to have to do this fast. But here's from this side. The front. And with the shirt up. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to follow me on social media, my links are down below. And I will see you guys later in a new vlog. Bye guys.